This is all just so crazy, but you know, I can't look away from it's it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I just can't get enough. But we did ask some of you on our Facebook page how excited you are for the big day, and nearly 10,000 responded a little differently. Here is the breakdown. 70% of you are excited for this to be over. 20% <laughs> could care less, and the rest, 10%, can't wait for the That's wedding. That's a little... No, 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 no. Okay, listen, haters are going to hate. But that 10K does not compare to you 14 million out there that continue following Kim and hit like, like, like on her yeah, Instagram. Sure. Me included, by the way. Right. So I think this haterade is really just jealousy juice. Just check out today's pre-wedding brunch where there's a whole lot of, oh, hi, don't mind me. I'm just hanging with the one and only Valentino at his castle, Chateau de Weedville, outside Paris and wearing a couture gown with applique and leaflets. Then there was this staged bachelorette party photo op last night that Kim would not stop Instagramming. Like, okay, we get it. You're having a blast crashing the Louvre with your besties, who are, by the way, Lala Anthony, Brittany Gastineau, and her glam squad. There's her hairstylist over here. And makeup artist Joyce Benelli, who went girls gone wild with a flash to the past. Rob, how do you not keep watching? Even the makeup artist is flashing. It's Mardi Gras in Paris. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so a fashion moment for a second. Okay. Rook, you feel me? Do it. Check out this white ball mon dress. Now, this is tens of thousands of dollars of intricate bead work. That's Hours. cool, actually. It is that. cool, it's yes. Gorgeous. It's inspired by a Fabergé egg, and it's from the fall 2012 collection. From the runway. I mean, how much did, did this thing cost? Yeah. Doesn't matter for Kim, because it's pretty much a loner for her. I mean, when she wears it like this, she doesn't ever wear it again. But it would set somebody else back about $20,000. Okay, and check out the other girls here, because clearly they got the memo. Come wearing white, and it ain't all right. Oh, yeah. You never upstage the bride.